Okay guys, uh, let's do RJ45 crimping today. So that's a CAT6 cable, a piece of CAT6 cable, a patch lead, uh, RJ45 crimper. And these are RJ45 plugs, uh, pass through. So pass through means that the cable cords will come out and then you can easily see to make sure they are in the right sequence. A stripper, if you need, you can use a stripper here as well because this crimper also have a cable stripper. But I normally use this because it's more frank, uh, friendly like uh, to the cable and to me as well and then cut a side cutter if you need so let's strip the cable from both sides okay and uh, let's do that a bit and it's not too hard because we don't want to damage the cable the cores actually so that that's the, uh, you took the sleeve off and took the take the thread and then this inner core off as well with the side cutter uh, try not to damage the cores uh, because uh, uh, they are important they're all important and uh, now we normally put a boot here uh, boot is like uh, something at the back to cover or protect the, uh, the plug but right now I don't have boot with me so I'm just gonna pull uh, the RJ45 as it is and uh, you can use this screwdriver to make the course more straight or you can just carry on whichever way you feel more comfortable if you are just you doing few of the crimping, so then obviously you can use you do without screwdriver. But if you're gonna do a lot of crimping, then you might use the screwdrivers. Uh, take the help of the screwdriver to make the core straight. For example, I show you now. So you put that inside and then press it. This way you can see the core is coming right straight actually, rather than rather than what I did with my hand before. So RJ45 uh, crimping. Uh, two standards. Uh, we are in UK, so we follow RJ45 standard number B, not A, uh, as they use in uh, America. They use A and B. Uh, UK we use the uh, B. In B we have uh, orange pair first, then uh, white grain, then uh, full blue, uh, then uh, white blue, then full grain, white brown, and then brown. This is the uh, RJ45. Uh, standard B actually as we follow mostly in UK and now make this uh, code straight because this is how they're gonna slide into the RJ45 pass to connector so uh, again repeating the codes orange white full orange um, uh, green white full blue uh, white blue full green white brown and then full brown actually that's uh, your then take the side cutter and then get the uh, RJ45 connector. You can uh, we use pass through these days. Uh, before we used to do without pass through, but um, so now uh, the way it goes is the way I do is I slide. I put I will put this uh, cable to the bottom towards the bottom and then slide it towards the front end. So now you will see them coming out in the same sequence as you inserted them, and then recheck the course. Looks okay to me. And then the, the jacket, jacket is this one, the sleeve, uh, that should come across the, the teeth. So press that and then you can see that this, this sleeve has crossed the teeth. That means when you crimp it, it will be much more stronger uh, uh, a connection. And uh, so you can see the purple sleeve has crossed the teeth. So that's a very important point uh, sometimes we miss. And now you can see uh, you can cut it the way I would do it is normally I will again do a bit of cutting here and then I pick up the crimper and the reason why because when you put, uh, don't cut the, the extra bits with the side cutter then these bits can actually go slide into this crimper which can then break this blade and we don't want to have a broken blade so so as you can see just a bit so you can go straight out and now you press the, send this uh, plug out and again recheck it to make sure all the cores are outside the blade uh, uh, outside this uh, area not inside because sometimes they bend inside and that's where they uh, break the blade so now I can see all eight cores are out and then and then uh, I will um, use a crimper and and then once I have the crimper make sure you pull it make sure it's all solid and recheck it they shouldn't be touching the copper. The copper should be all separate. All the cores should be all separate. So you can see 
it's all separate and no core is touching to uh, the adjoining or neighboring cores. And that was one side. And uh, if you still have patience, I can show you the other side as well, same way. So, and then don't don't go too deep with the cutter because we don't want to damage the cores. Just to cut the sleeve, and that's all, really. Again, same story. You got this uh, inner cores, which are you can remove now, and that's there your thingy. And now, uh, same color coding at that side. Uh, white, orange first. That's the first core. Then full orange. Then we're gonna do white green. And then after this, we're gonna bring in the blue pair, which means full blue first. And uh, and then white blue, then full green, which is just here now. And then the brown pair. So so orange pair first, then uh, white green, blue pair, full green, and then brown pair. Uh, if you write it down, it's only first few times you need to uh, follow. And once you do this few times, then you don't need to. It's then it's automatic. You know, it's just a second nature uh, after you have done few times. So. Uh, the main thing is the, here, this is a very key part where the, you just re keep rechecking to make sure you are doing the right uh, co uh, cabling in the right sequence, basically. Uh, so yeah, so you can see this uh, green, blue, green, and what I will do is actually, I will bring this brown from here, in a sense like, so it can have much more stronger uh, push towards the RJ45 plug. Because sometimes what you will notice is that the cable bent inside the RJ45 plug, which we don't want. We want to make sure it goes straight, slide, it, uh, slide outside uh, through the pass-through plug. So uh, I think this should do. So I'm going to pick up a plug, RJ45, pass through again, and then slide this into on the, yeah, nicely came out. Purple uh, jacket had crossed the teeth, so that means I, can have a, I will have a solid connection once I crimp and uh, yeah and now I'm gonna send this nicely making sure no core basically uh, goes inside uh, leaves this stays inside the uh, crimper so I can see all eight are actually outside the crimper blade so that means when I trigger the blade uh, and then this will be all nicely trimmed so there you go so you can see all nicely trimmed and you have a good uh, 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 solid uh, RJ45 crimped on both sides using. So the cable is all ready, as you see. Then we're gonna bring a tester. This is the RJ45 tester. We, uh, so I'm gonna plug uh, one side to this side and click on test. And now other side goes to this uh, device now. And you can see that we need to have all eight cores green so you can see the numbers one two eight all green one two three four five six seven eight all good our cable is perfect and that's it guys good luck thank you